Hey guys, what's up? Meta Burns here, and today we're opening my second Nightfall first edition spellbook. Super stoked to open this, guys. Of course, I am trying to catch up on MetaZoo on Nightfall, Wilderness, and uh, Cryptonation Second Edition before UFO comes out shortly at the end of this month here. So let's crack open this, guys. Again, to 10 more packs here of Nightfall. Of course, we get that metal coin, we get a rule book, we get the sleeves, we get a token sheet, and we get an aura deck. Let's crack this open, guys, and see exactly what this Nightfall spellbook holds today. All right, I know these spellbooks, guys. I've heard the Nightfall spellbooks are very hard to pull out of, but that just makes me more determined to show you guys that I can pull some good stuff. We'll see what we can get today, guys. So, of course, we got that little playmat there. Very cool. There is that beautiful Nightfall promo. Who's super happy to have another one of these in my collection, guys. I love the artwork on this one quite a bit. I think this might be my favorite one out of the spellbooks so far. Just really like the artwork there. Just super cool. Very happy to have that. Of course, guys, we got that aura brick there. Very cool. Nothing really cool in these. I, think, I don't think so. It's going to set that aside. I'll throw that in my collection later on. Not a big deal. There is that rule book. Very useful to have those. There is that pack of sleeves there. Very uh, handy dandy to have. I always like collecting these though, as I always say. Not really a big fan of playing with them, unfortunately. There's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten booster packs of Nightfall. Cannot wait to get into those. Of course, there's that really cool coin there. It's one of my favorite coins. It's just the all black coin there with the Nightfall logo there on the back. Super, super cool. And then, of course, there, guys, we got those status indicators there at the bottom of the box. All right, let's get into pack number one here, guys. We got 10 packs of Nifo. Let's see how many full hollows we can pull out of here. We got one, two, three, oh, and four to the front there. Almost ruined that. We got a Lightning Alley, Tentacle Token, a Daytime, a Water Aura, a Destroy Aura, a Water to Wine, a Possession, Trinity Amulet, Brain in a Jar, very cool artwork, Spooky Kite, Unholy Fire and a Reverse Hollow, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia. So we are starting things off, guys, with a Reverse Hollow, as foreseen by the prophecies, apparently, huh? It's pretty hard to pull out, they say, but I wonder why that is. Apparently, Meta is supposed to be true random from what I've heard from everyone. So I wonder if that's just people sort of, uh, you know, if that's just sort of been with the consensus, uh, what people have seen online mostly, but we'll see. We'll see. It's only my second one personally. And we got a Belled Buzzard here in pack number two. Reverse. So far, two for two. But yeah, I don't have a lot of these cards in general. So I do just want more cards to have for my collection to play anyway. So I'm not really too upset if I don't get a whole bunch of if I get any full hollows. Mothman. Very cool. Love to have Mothman even there in the non-hollow version. That's totally fine. Ocean. Light Aura. Axe Handle Hound. A Wonk. A Sam Tully Water. Tribal Warcry. A Bursting Spiderlings. Earth's Binding. Zombie Apocalypse, and a Reverse Hollow Dover Demon. Very cool Reverse Hollow card, actually. Speaking of those, uh, that Dover Demon there, sort of, it reminds me of an alien the way it looks, of course. We got UFO coming out soon, guys. Cannot wait to get my pre-order in. I do plan on buying a lot of that, so expect tons of tons of back-to-back -back UFO, UFO videos, of course, for a little while as I crack open tons of those spell books, release event decks. Of course, we're going to go through all of those theme decks here on the channel. Crystallized Light, Unlucky Potion, and at the end, we got a Reverse Hollow Mothman. Okay, that's a very cool Reverse Hollow to get. We'll take that. Sweet. Love to have that Reverse Hollow, at least. So far, 4 for 4. That's a pretty decent pull, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the front. Of course, would love a full Hollow version. We'll see, though, what we can pull. Shadow Token, Snowing, a Water Aura, Air Rods, Water Baby of Massacre Rock, Smoke Screen. I love the artwork on that card there. Very creepy. Uh, the Columbia River, Sand Squink, Bubbling Brew, Sinister Shadows, Vampire Mercy Brown, and a Reverse Hollow Twin Meteor. It's also a, a Reverse Hollow there I really like. I'm not sure if that card's in Full Hollow, but if it is, I would actually love to pull that card. All right, we are halfway through, guys, this Nightfall Spellbook. One, two, three, and four. I do have some Wilderness Spellbooks open here, though, soon, guys, so be on the lookout. We are still hunting for those tickets for the Green Men, for whatever we can find in Wilderness, whatever has not been pulled yet. We'll see. Sinister Shadows, Veggie Man, and... A Reverse Hollow, the Red Ghost. That's, again, I love the artwork on that card there. Would love this in a full hollow if that's a full hollow, but still a very cool Reverse Hollow, guys. So far, we are just six Reverse Hollows, though. So far, it is what everyone says, I guess. So far, it's seeming pretty hard, but hey, maybe all the heat is here at the very end. We'll find out. We got another Potion Seller, Nameless Token, Suburban, a Spirit Aura, Air Rods, Water Baby of Massacre Rock, Imprisonment, Halloween Ghost Sheet, a Murphy's Boro Mud Monster, Copy Cup, Galupalik, and a Reverse Hollow Luffer Lang. We are still on the Reverse Hollow train, guys, with three packs left in this spellbook. Let's see if we can get lucky here at the very end. We'll see. But either way, I'm still determined. I still want to open some more uh, Nightfall stuff here. Um, before prices tend to go up, I'm sure at some point prices will go up for Nightfall. I, I, that's my assumption, of course. Just my assumption. But, um, 
you know, as the, as the set already is a little bit more expensive as is, and as things get bought out, I just imagine it'll go up at, with time. There's a reverse hollow tea kettler, guys, and we got two packs here left. Two packs of Nightfall. Can we get something hot out of this spell book? Let's see. One, two, three, and four to the front like that. We got a permafrost. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just go for it and buy a booster box of this set so I can pull some uh, some full hollows for the collection. Land tax. I love the artwork on that card there as well. Some really cool artwork. Frostbite, Jekyll Lantern, Vanish, Sinister Shadows, a Dover Demon, and a Reverse Hollow Oklahoma Octopus. I actually do have this card in a full hollow. I pulled that at a shop to play at not too long ago. Very cool. Got the Reverse Hollow now. And the very last pack, guys. So far, we are 9 for 9. Let's see if we're going to actually go 10 for 10 Reverse Hollows. If we do, hey, it's not a big deal. It happens. It happens. Snowing, Spirit Aura, Absorb Aura, Wild Lake Crustacean, Poltergeist, Jack-O-Lantern, Boost Aura, Purple Blob of Philadelphia, Unlucky Potion, and a Reverse Hollow Poltergeist to end things off, guys. We ended today with pulling 10 Reverse Hollows from this Nightfall First Edition Spellbook. As always, at least we got that really cool Nightfall promo card there from the Spellbook, of course. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe for more Magic content. I'll see you in the next video, and have a good one.